hey guys welcome back to another video sorry for not uploading in a while but anyways today we're gonna talk about why f1 should race in the newly established mandalika circuit held in indonesia for the moto gp series So, the overview and purpose for the Mandalika Circuit. Mandalika Circuit is meant for MotoGP. It's not confirmed to be an F1 track. However, it's an FIA Grade 1 track, which means it's compatible for F1 use, which is actually great. The track standards of the Mandalika Circuit is still being built and not yet finished. However, there are plenty of videos that has F1 on boards like this one. The objectives of the Mandalika circuit is as a replacement for the central circuit that has hosted MotoGP track in the past. There are many overtaking possibilities in MotoGP, however there are not many in F1. Overtaking problem for Formula 1 in the Mandalika circuit. So the problem for the Mandalika circuit is there's not enough braking and there are long straights which could mean a massive massive no overtaking parts just like Monaco. Um, maybe make a solution like make an optional layout purpose field to solve overtaking like in France or Abu Dhabi since they have optional layouts. So how did the Mandalika circuit got an FIA uh, a verification? So the FIA and FIM which also stands for Federation International Motorcycle has acknowledged this track by its safety its suitability and it's also designed by Tilka which normally uh, do F1 uh, circuit tracks so that's actually good. Racing activity. Currently there are no racing activity due to it still being under construction so um, we'll just have to wait. But looking at the contract for the circuit, it looks like it's gonna be in MotoGP for 5 years and I think then maybe the FIA could have an interest in it. However, the overtaking issues will still be there, but in time, the facilitators might have solved it. What's your opinion about Mandalika? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video and goodbye. Stop.